Hello and welcome back again to Let's Play Demon Souls New Game Plus 5. We are now in World 4-1 and we're going to make our way to the boss of this world. Hopefully alive. And I gotta put up my second chance. Because I tend to forget that. Just take um, this. These guys can be really hard. They hit really hard and can take out uh, pretty inexperienced players. But you just take it slow. Let them miss and hit them. be okay for the most part. I'm gonna take out the range guy first. And that should do it. And this guy is almost ready to attack me. One, two, three. And I wonder if you guys are hearing that phone ring but I'm gonna go backwards for a bit and wait for that to stop ringing and it's still ringing all right let's go up it hasn't stopped ringing yet we're gonna take a drink Okay, if you move slowly, you'll only get one of these guys. You just gotta kind of wait until you see him finally make his move. I have the Thies ring on, so I'm gonna have to move up a bit higher than what you would normally have to do if you didn't have it. There he goes. Yeah, that big strong attack will lead up almost all endurance. The rest of the attacks will hurt if you don't have your shield up. But I do have a lot of endurance. I have my endurance up at 40. So I can eat most of these attacks except for that one. Okay, go in the fog gate. We're gonna go to the right. There's a trap here. There's, you can either just block it or if you run fast enough, you can get by it before they hit you. Like that. And we're gonna go up and take care of the ramparts before we go and hit the dual wielding red, red eye knight. And take care of these two archers. And most of the time, if you go down this stairwell, there's a trap, but there's also a key to a, a cell that there's a merchant in. I most of my let's play, if it's a, my if it's a new character, I'll I'll open up the merchant. But now I pretty much leave him in a cell because. As far he does sell a wide variety of arrows, but he doesn't sell the hard arrows or what am I carrying right now? I'm the heavy arrows um, patches sells those, so I just get wait till I meet up with patches and buy my arrows from him instead. Now taking on this guy. He'll always, for the most part, open up with a jump at you with his swinging both swords and you can actually just kind of slide by that and get a backstab when he does that and it's like that and then get your free hit in and you can kind of back off to try have him do that jump attack again which he's ready to do again you slide by him and then get another backstab 
And this is the Crescent Falchion, which, you know, I have a plus five Crescent Uchigata. There's really no point for me to pick that one up. But that is a really good sword for, if you're on your new game, to pick up as soon as you can. It takes a while for you to upgrade other weapons to outpace that damage. And I don't know why I came back up here because I'm just going to go across here and use my bow and arrow to well, I'm going to have to wait. A lot of people like to avoid the, just kind of ignore the uh, mana rays. There's Vanguard. He is actually pretty much locked into that spot. So the very cheesy way is to use range attacks on him to kill him. Once you learn his melee pattern, uh, the melee pattern isn't that much less of a cheesy way. I don't I like to kill these guys in the air because I they're too irritating to just try to avoid their range attacks. This is a Kajili, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. And there's an Uchigana in here too. Which is I believe right no it's yeah right no, it's uh, around the corner behind Vanguard. So let's go melee him. Let's get him to swing again, get rid of some of this debris. And this is where you really don't want to use lock on. Close. Just try to stay behind him, watch for him to jump up like that, move away when he comes back down, come in again. When he jumps up, you move away. You can almost get him into this pattern. We're gonna get behind him. Jump up after he goes down. Maybe get behind him. Thing, the thing is, just watch for him to jump up, stay behind him, and you should be okay. Get him in this pattern and he almost becomes as easy as a range attack of just cheesing the range attack. And that's it for Vanguard. And he's one of the ones where actually locking onto him makes it a bit harder to fight him. As you saw, I, I don't think I locked onto him at all. I have to look when I re watch the episode before I upload it and make it ready for upload. Come down here, there's a trap. It shoots out of this wall. Right there, there it is. There's a dart. And there's the pressure plate, so you gotta turn around and block it, or you can run and avoid it. And there's a hidden wall. Backstab him. And then we'll. This guy. I said I didn't get the key over here to let the guy out of the cell. So he's gonna have to stay in there for now. I'm pretty much because I am not gonna let him out. Head down this hallway. I just like killing these skeletons. Although you, I could really pass us by, but there's another hidden passageway here. And a skeleton in there. They do hit pretty hard. I'm gonna change up my grass.
Even though I'm some of my higher healing grasses. So we're gonna eat up a few of these crescent ones before we, there's another skeleton up there up the stairs. some free hits and then up these stairs a skeleton also who will kind of do that depending on how fast you come up the stairs so if you do a bit slow you can get these free hits on them and this way is the trading bird which I really need to start doing because I almost never trade for the colorless demon souls to get the so I can upgrade those weapons that you need those for, the colorless demon soul. And I'll take this guy out. And this is where you get the uh, compound longbow. And some light arrows. And if you go this way, you can drop down and go back to the fog gate over here. And while I'm walking there, I'm going to drink a beer. ready to take out the uh, man right here which I missed him so I gotta wait for him to come back and since we'll wait we'll actually pick up these items while I'm waiting otherwise I would probably skip these items I actually I have 99 shards of cloud stone. I drop them now. And that is not from duping. That's just from the uh, five let's plays that I have picked up that many because I have not upgraded a weapon to use those. So. I think it's the cloud stones I have many. Yeah, there's one of the shards I have. I just drop him now because Patches is fold up and he won't accept anymore. I mean, not Patches, Stock Thomas, Stockpile Thomas is filled. Okay, as I said, the uh, trick to these guys is really to get them to use that jump attack and you just kind of slide by them. It's kind of like what you do with the draglings in uh, World 1-1. One, one. They have a lunging attack that you can slide by and get a backstab easy. If you move in, he's ready to do it. And there is his jump attack. You slide by. We we'll move in for our free attack. And then back off to try to get him to do it again. You move far enough away, you get... And you should do it again. There he goes. And there's another free backstab. And the adjudicator shield, which heals you. The reason why you can do that is there's collision detect with the enemies, but it's very slippery collision detect, so you once they're in that animation, you can kind of, as long as you moved yourself a bit to the side, you can just slide by them. And we're going to come up here because from up here I can kill the other, um, use the bow and arrow and kill these other flying mana rays. And since I'm up here, I will collect the items. You gotta lead them a bit. And a bit more than that. Ooh, I hit him. I hit him again. Uh, okay. 
That makes fighting these uh, skeletons down there so much easier without having the mana rays shooting at you. Even though I have the, um, but where I was fight those skeletons, the um, these ring doesn't quite help enough over here. So there's an item up around this corner. And let's go down here and fight our first gold skeleton. These guys hit hard. But they're kind of slow. That's why I get him to take that big swing. That's not the big swing. See, he'll do three of them. Actually, four of those. And this, we actually have some room now that I got rid of the mana rays to fight this one. One, two, three, and four. And you're done. Now this one I'm going to pull with a bow and arrow. Because that is just too small of a ledge to fight him on. I mean you can do it but it's just the room for error becomes basically um, one mistake in your movement and you're off the edge. It's just not worth the... Uh, so we'll keep hitting them to get them over here. Which is going to ultimately make this a lot easier. Get him to take his big swing, then we come in behind it. And he's done. And we are pretty much at the boss, which is, what is our time? 17 minutes right now. And we're going to go up the stairs to show you where there's a, there's a ring that is useful for PvP over here. That's a grave robber ring, which because I really don't do PvP, I'm not even going to bother. But you got to drop down on that board to get over to it. And then over here, you drop down this way. There's this guy with a renowned hero, so be careful on how you drop down. And this is where the thief's ring, and you can use your bow and arrow to get this crystal lizard. Hopefully, I'll hit him hard enough to, or I'll hit the wall. Let's try this again. Oh man, he's taking off. Now, the thing with crystal lizards, if you don't chase them at all, they might not run away completely and disappear. As you see, he did run. Depends on if they get hung up on something, and he'll actually slowly move back. As long as they, darn when they're actually spazzing out and running away fast, if they don't get hung up on something, once they go the distance they want to go, they'll turn around and move back to where they started. So you don't always have to take off and chasing them and following them off a ledge. But it is, if there's something that they can get hung up on, that will freak them out and they will then disappear. As long as they can have enough room to work off that energy of freaking out. See, like, he's going to take off, but he can keep moving along, and then once he spent it he'll come back but if he hung up somewhere along there he would have then disappeared that is the mechanic trick of these crystal lizards so if they don't have enough room to keep moving away from you they will when they get hung up and against the wall they will disappear but if they can keep moving away to the distance they want to they'll forget about you and come back but you do kind of have to have the thief's ring loaded where the thief's rings to do that and that kills him this time uh, 
something big. And if I continue down that way, there is the uh, char, the uh, regenerator ring, which I already have a few of those. So I'm not going to bother. And we got another trap, but we can get by this one real easy. And we got another red-eyed dual-wielding knight. I'm going to have a beer, drink a beer, part of my beer. Okay, I said you can just slide by these guys, but this time I'm going to try to fight this guy up close, which then it's just blocking them. So I'm actually going to let him slide by me and let him recover, and then I'm going to just try to stay close and absorb his hits and hit him. Basically, it's like with the spear guys, but he can't hit hard, so you got to make sure you have enough room. hit hard so you have to have a shield that can absorb a lot you have to have, if you're gonna just kind of stay right up close and let him hit bang on your shield just to show it kind of a different way to take him out uh, let's eat up some crescent grass before I go in here for the adjudicator adjudicator Now the thing here is after you get in, you want to just move. This is one of the bosses you can't just, after you go in, you can't just stay there because he'll hit you with his tongue and take you out. You got to, as soon as you get in there and you get control, you got to start moving and you want to move to your right and then down the stairs. And then fall down here and then go across. Fall down these stairs, and then fall down to the bottom, and you're going to target right there where that sword is coming, piece of the sword is coming, and then go over here. When you hear that cork, he's going to attack. way too. And there we go. I should have done a new episode for this. Two hand it. One good I'm gonna check my time. I'm at 23 minutes. This is gonna be oh I'm gonna get hit. Nope, I do it. Okay, when he gets up against the wall, that gets hard to avoid his attacks. That's the hardest part is the judging.
Definitely got to pause it now. We're at 25 minutes. That's the adjudicator. Once you learn that trick about the bird making the noise that he's going to swing, and you just need to be moving away to avoid that big swing down. He swings from the right to the left, upper right down to the left his right so there we go that was 4-1 I'm gonna now um, pause it and thanks for watching this long 25 plus minute 26 minute episode and uh, peace out which I've used before I'm trying to think of new things to sign out with which I can't think of anything <laughs>